Hey there, it's Tank Girl, and this here is the HTC MyTouch 4G for T-Mobile. I just traded in, well, returned my G2 and got this instead. This is going to be my personal device. Um, the reason I did that is because I don't really use the hardware keyboard on the G2 very much, and I didn't want to carry the extra bulk. Also, this has a slightly better camera, a slightly larger screen, and a front-facing camera as well. And I feel it's more of a spiritual successor to my Nexus One. Um, also, I think slightly faster performance on the CPU and GPU. The only negative, obviously, is that it's got a more customized version of uh, Android 2.2 Froyo. So let's get started. This is what the box looks like in the outside. You've got uh, some stuff on the back and it's like a zippered case basically um, and uh, as you can see here it's a pretty unusual presentation uh, there we go so let's uh, let's open this up unbox it and there's a zipper and here you go you get uh, the phone here this is a purple one as you can see, it's really, really pretty purple. See the purple accent around here. And uh, let me go through the rest of the box quickly before I uh, do a walk around the phone and compare it to some other devices I have here. So then there's a little Velcro here with a little um, band holding the other side of things. As you can see, you've got the charger here, the headset, a bunch of cables and the manual. So let's just take all this out one by one and have a quick look, shall we? So this is the SIM card they provide, um, which I'm not going to use since I already have my own account. Uh, this here is a getting started guide for the MyTouch 4G. Then here we have the Much Touch, MyTouch 4G collection. That's like accessories and things you can buy. And then here are the terms and conditions, return policy, limited warranty. And then at the end here, you've got the usual return card. If you don't like the device, you can send it back, which I hope not to have to do. I, I mean, you know, we'll see. If there's a Nexus 2, as potentially there's been rumors of, I might upgrade to that. But for now, I think this will, will do the trick. We'll find out. So here's the uh, AC adapter. There's a nice little MyTouch branding on it. A nice little plastic uh, cup uh, covering it. Uh, I can probably pull that out, perhaps. There we go. You can take a look that way. Then here we have a um, little uh, earbud covers and uh, accessories for the headset. A little clip, clip you can put on the cable. And then we have the actual headset itself, which I'm just going to pull out like this. And as you can see, there are here are the earbuds. They look pretty nice, and there's a, a nice little, if the camera will focus, there we go, a nice little inline remote with next, previous, call, answer, and uh, play, pause. It's using a standard four-prong headset, so there we go. So this should work on most devices, like the iPhone, Blackberries, uh, Samsung's, LG's, other HTC phones as well. Uh, then we have finally the USB cable, which is um, a standard three, um, sorry, standard micro USB cable. You can see it here. There we go. And then of course the other end is just a standard USB cable. So that's for the content of the box, as you can see. We don't have anything else. Now let's uh, do a walk around the phone. So let's start with um, the top uh, left side. So we've got a, a volume rocker here. And like, very interestingly, three little contacts, like the Nexus one had at the bottom, which are probably for some sort of dock. And then here you have the uh, micro USB charge and data port. On the bottom here you have a microphone. On the right hand side you have a double detent, oh, it feels really nice, camera button. Now remember, I really like phones that have a dual detent camera button because for me, photography is pretty important. And the G2 had that too, but the Nexus one didn't. Um, so this is, a, this is a nice feature to have. There's nothing else on the left-hand side. 
And at the very top, you have the headphone jack and the power lock key right here. In the front, you have the MyTouch logo, the earpiece, which is kind of gaudy looking, a little too chrome and over-designed here, I think, with the front-facing camera to the right of it. The giant screen, this is a 3.8-inch LCD TFT screen, not a 3.7 like the Nexus One or the G2. And will my camera focus? Here we go. Here are the standard buttons. There is a home menu back. And so here is this kind of My Touch uh, button, which doesn't bring up the search. It brings up some kind of weird voice tr um, search thing that T-Mobile's had on all their My Touch devices. And I'm, we're not too keen on that. My, my friends and I, I think I, I'm not going to be too happy with it, but let's see if I can live with that instead of the standard search key. And here you have the optical trackpad, which you can click on. There you go. So that's the front. Now in the back, you have a 5 megapixel autofocus camera that does 720p HD video recording with a flash and a little speaker next to it. The battery cover little notch for the battery. Let's take uh, the cover off here. It's a little hard to do. Let's see if I can... There we go. And so what you've got under here is the SIM slot with some kind of warning on it. And then you got the micro SD card slot. I believe this comes with a, an 8 gigabyte card. Let's actually check on that. Yep, eight gigabytes. And now here's the battery and it's got a little cover on it so that it doesn't power the phone on when it's shipping. So I'll, I'll remove that in a second, put my SIM card in. Um, in the meantime, actually why don't I do that right now? So let's just move this out. And I'm gonna put my SIM in here. Judging from the contacts, it goes in this direction. There we go. And then the battery goes in. There we go. And the battery cover. I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to turn it on until I'm ready for the first power on, which I want to give you guys, obviously. There, the battery case is back on. You can see this nice little pattern printed on the battery case and the T-Mobile logo. So now let's really quickly compare with some other phones. Let's start with a well-known entity, the iPhone 4. So here's the iPhone 4. As you can see, it's a little taller, a little wider. Um, here's the back. And for a thickness comparison, as you can see, the MyTouch 4G is a pretty thin phone. The, uh, the iPhone is one of the thinnest, so this is pretty close which is quite impressive. There's a bit of a lip at the top and the bottom there, as you can see. You can see the light shining through in my finger back there. Now, obviously the next logical comparison is what I consider to be the kind of older brother of the MyTouch, the Nexus One. I obviously don't have the G2 to show you anymore since I returned it, but this is the uh, 3.7 inch versus 3.8 front-facing camera versus no front-facing camera. As you can see, there is a certain family resemblance here. Obviously, both are HTC phones. And then here in the back, here's the back. You can see the Google logo. Thickness, um, again, about the same. Maybe the Nexus one's a little thicker. It's hard to tell here. Now, the next one I want to compare it with is the Desire HD. Now, this is a European HTC Android phone. Um, also considered kind of the flagship for the GSM HTC devices. It's a European phone, does not have 3G for the US. But it's got a 4.3 inch screen. It's pretty gigantic as you can see. But overall, the MyTouch isn't much smaller. It's a little narrower, but tallness is about the same. Now this is what the back looks like. The Desire HD has an 8 megapixel autofocus camera with this dual LED flash, so it's a little better. Um, and then the thickness. Again, the My Touch is at the bottom here. And as you can see, there's a protrusion here for the camera on the Desire HD. So if I just go like this, we'll probably get a better feel for the thickness difference. About the same. This is a little thicker, probably, the HD. And finally, just because I can, I have here an HTC Surround. This is a Windows Phone 7 device from HTC that's on the AT&T network. 
And as you can see, it's it's about the same. Of course, this has a, I think it's actually impossibly the same display, 3.8 inches. And then in the back, it looks like that, similar cameras. Now, this is a thicker phone, the surround, because it has a slide out for speakers. So you can see the thickness difference here. Um, the slide out I'm talking about is like that, a little speaker slide out with a kickstand in the back. Now, if you want more video on this, I just did an unboxing video on this surround, so check it out. All right, so now that we're pretty much at this happy stage of comparison, let me take off this uh, plastic here and let's power up the phone for the first time. Ta-da! My Touch 4G. Let's see what happens here. Shouldn't take too long, it's an Android phone. They all boot pretty quickly. There we go. Little animation, no sound for some reason though. Yeah, just vibrated briefly in my hand. Ooh, very pretty zebras. Preparing SD card, nine other ages set the time properly, 120, November 9th. And we've got a signal meter at the top. Of course, it's HSPA plus area here, so we're gonna do a little H. Well, we would probably get that even if we were just in a 3G area. Boom, and it's synchronizing somehow. Just gonna tap the screen to wake it up. Maybe just unlock that. There we go. Welcome. Make your new My Touch 4G 100% yours. So next. So that's the genius button we were talking about, where you can talk and say something and you know I'd rather have the search key there quite frankly video chat yay I've had that on my iPhone for a while DNLA Ta-da! So this is pretty nice. Uh, I'm gonna replay it now, that's my option. So go next, see what happens. Uh, so it's select letting me select some uh, backgrounds. Um, you know what, let's go with the default. There's a whole bunch here. Um, I'm just gonna be boring and play with it later. So let's select the default. I like the zebras. Applying. And so, do you want to keep in touch with your friends? You can set up like a whole bunch of stuff here. I'm not going to do it right now. And then, of course, I can set up my calendar and my mail, which I'm not going to do either. And then it's asking me the Google location, uh, the usual, do you want this to be okay? And I'll say yes. And then it's apparently doing a whole bunch of stuff to configure the phone. Woohoo! And now I want to set up a bunch of other things like email accounts, video chat, social networks. And I'm just gonna say no to all this genius button. You can uh, learn more about all these features. So I'm just gonna skip that. Till I finally get to an Android startup screen, perhaps. Yay, here we are. Here's the menu with the weird little Apple-ified icons on the on the, the menu tray. So this is going to take some getting used to since I'm mostly used to plain up Froyo and I don't like skins too much. That might just be the downfall of this phone. That might be the only reason I end up returning it in the end because I love the color purple. Big fan of purple. But I'm, you know, that everything else spec wise is fantastic. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I should probably let you guys go and um, do other things, but this is the MyTouch 4G on T-Mobile. It is a really pretty awesome device spec-wise. So it's my own. I got it. Um, keep an eye on my blog. I'm Tank Girl. That's 
T N K G R L, Tank Girl Without the Vowels. You can find me on Twitter under that handle. You can find my blog if you Google that. My blog is Tank Girl Mobile. And I'm also a contributor on Engadget, so you can find me there. Anyway, keep an eye out for some unboxing pictures and possibly uh, some other content about the MyTouch 4G on my blog soon. Cheers.